Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina, Living Lean Six Sigma, and today I'm talking to you about ROI and NVA. What are they and how can you use them to your advantage? So I'm gonna make a couple of assumptions that you know what your goals are and you've overridden some of your programming and you know your why. And so essentially you've done some of the hard work. Um, return on interest is uh, what your trade-off is on investing in yourself or your goal and uh, what you're going to leave on the table because of that. Um, for an example, um, I challenge you to look at yourself as a business and in this example, uh, we are all living and time's always going by. And so therefore, whatever you equate time, time is happiness, time is joy, um, time is money, time is sleep, whatever you equate it to, I challenge you to uh, look at yourself as a business and uh, quantify your, your the things you do on and the things you have on your plate. So essentially, I'm going to ask you to now do the second thing and look at your plate of uh, things and f ask yourself which of these are non-value added. Uh, NVA means non-value added and I apply them to activities. Uh, for an example, if your goal is to start a business or to go to school, which activities do you do every day, every week, every month that aren't contributing to your goal? And what I ask you to do is to get rid of them. Uh, what this would do is it frees up your time and you can reallocate your time to doing more of things that uh, contribute and get you closer to your goal. Um, these uh, principles are what successful people do. These principles are what businesses do. And so why not apply that to yourself? Uh, I think this analogy is applicable to yourself and this, you know, seeing yourself as a business. Um, my ask is, you know, uh, first don't come at me. Uh, this uh, asterisk here is for, you know, this isn't a one size fits all solution. And this isn't for everybody. Um, you know, if you are the type of person who's on a spectrum and you're on the lazy side or on the workaholism side, um, if I were to say to schedule uh, some time, some downtime, I hope you're more on the workaholism side of the spectrum and you're um, trying to gradate your. Um, workaholism so that you can schedule your downtime. Uh, I did in previous videos uh, or in this video only uh, mention that more often than not the average person is most likely on the lazy side and they don't see it and they don't objectify their tasks and they don't see that they actually are lazy. I'm lazy. I'm very lazy. That's why I use these processes to make my life easier so I can be lazier and let the processes work for me. It just takes a little bit of time, upfront cost, and then my return on interest is I meet my goal. So uh, tying everything together, I challenge you to look at yourself as a business, find out what your trade-offs are, and uh, you know another example, I'm a student engineer. My trade-off for continuing to go to school as an adult um, means that I don't spend so much time uh, watching TV. It means I don't do certain things, go out to eat. Uh, it means that that is my trade-off and my return on interest is after I graduate, I'm able to get a better paying job, a um, different career if I wanted it. Um, I get to say I'm an engineer, I get to have the certificate, um, and in my opinion, you know, I refer everything back to perspective, right? Um, at the end of the day or at the end of my life, would I regret not doing fill in the blank, whatever that activity is? My answer every time for engineering is, yes, I would regret not completing that and uh, getting that. Despite the way our education system is, despite the pandemic, despite a lot of things, um, you know, my goal is my goal. And so I hope that you figure out your goal and you challenge yourself and look at yourself as a business and you're able to eliminate these NBAs 
and look at your trade-off and uh, you know go all in on your return on interest because you're worth it. Thanks so much. I'm Karina at Lean Six Sigma and I'll see you in the next video.